Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel. So today's tutorial is on these eight marble designs. They're all done in slightly different ways, but using one main product. So if you wanna see how I created all of these designs, then just keep watching. So I just wanna quickly apologize for my nails. They are very grown out and in need of being done, but they are still so pretty. So I'm going to be using the new Dixie plates from Dixie Girl stamping plate and this is the Marbled 02. They do have a, another plate which is the Marbled 01 which is equally as stunning but this plate is just perfect for all different types of marbles from water marble to stone marble. It's perfect. So I'm going to be using the Dixie Plates Dixie Diamond Duo Stamper. It is perfect for any type of stamping and I'm going to prep it with my lint roller. That just removes off any dust or any previous designs off my stamper head. So I'm also going to be using the Magic Touch Stamper, also from Dixie Plates, and my Dixie Scraper, which is well loved as you can see. So I'm going to be using 796 Gel Polish from Premier Gel. I will be using all Premier Gel Polishes in this video. So the next one is 468, and I'm just going to be applying them to my little butterfly palette, also from Dixie Plates. The next colour is 647, and I'm going to be using this colour as my base for the design, and also 865, which is a bit of sparkle and a bit of glitter. So after applying these to the palette, and don't they just look gorgeous, I'm going in with that nudie colour and applying that to my nail. I am only doing one layer of this and then I'm going to be going in with my pink swirl dotting tool and picking up different colours of the gel polishes that I've put on my palette and I'm just going to be going into that wet layer of uncured gel and just swiping them through, wiggling my dotting tool backwards and forwards. The messier, the better, the more the colours will blend and I'm just applying all of those colours into that wet layer. Once I've done that, that will go into the lamp and cure for 30 seconds and then we will go on to the marble stamping. So I'm going to be going in with Moyu London's stamping polish in Lady Gold Pink and I'm applying it to that middle image on the top row. Excuse my face in the reflection of the stamping play, I didn't realise until editing, so apologies for that. So I'm just using my Dixie Diamond Duo to pick up this image and place it down on that nail. I have wiped that inhibition layer off so it's easier to stamp onto and there you have the first design. Really super easy. So the next one I'm going to be using 628 which is a nice teal green and I'm applying one layer of this to my nail and I'm going to be leaving it wet so I am not curing it in my lamp. I'm then going to go in with 191 which is a dark dark blue and I'm just using the brush that it comes with and applying some of that polish to the uncured gel make sure you clean your brush off in between and then I'm going back in with the original colour brush and just blending it a little bit. So I will cure that for 30 seconds in my lamp. So now we're going in with Rain On Me which is a chrome polish from Barry M. It is perfect for stamping and I'm going in with the second to last image on that top row of the plate and just adding a little tiny bit of metallic detail onto this design. I don't want it to be too much but it just gives it that little fleck and metallic sheen which I love so the next one I'm using 625 again from Premier Gel and I'm applying this to my nail I will leave links to everything I've used in this tutorial down below so if you want to find them you can look in the description box and all links will be there so I'm going to use some of this matte gold foil and I'm just cutting a little bit of this off and then I'm going to be using this after I've cured that layer of gel. They have a slight inhibition layer so I'm just using that to stick that transfer foil onto the nail. I want it to be quite patchy and rough looking to add a little bit of texture to the nail. So as you can see here it's really patchy, gives it that really earthy textured vibe. So now I'm going in with Moyu London 
London's pink clay stamping polish and I'm going to be using this to add my final layer so I'm using the bottom left image on the stamping plate picking up that image and I'm going to be using my magic touch stamper for this one so I've picked up that image and I'm just placing it down on the nail as you can see there and it just adds another layer of texture when you're creating marble nails there's so many different types of marble so you can really have a good play with this plate and create loads of different signs so next I'm going in with number 548 and this is a dark green after I've applied one layer to my nail I will be curing in my lamp for 30 seconds and now I'm going to go in with F003 which is a bright neon green and I'm just going to use the brush from the bottle and apply a few swipes on the nail over the top of that dark green. You can be really messy with this. So this is what we have so far, a really messy, splotchy design. So I'm now going in with my Dixie Plates Ombre Brush and I'm just going to be using this completely dry and dry wiping the whole of this design. So taking away some of that bright neon green colour to give you kind of this wishy-washy neon green dark green effect so I'm going to be using the Moira stamping polish and this is the one that you can use for pigments and transfer foil so I'm taking this khaki green transfer foil and I'm going to be stamping the top right image on the plate using the magic touch stamper and as you can see there it picked up perfectly I'm applying this down on the nail holding for a few seconds and that's what we have so far this one kind of reminds me of lightning I absolutely love this one so I've just given it a few seconds to dry slightly and then I'm going in with that transfer foil and pressing on the nail one thing I need to mention is make sure you wipe the inhibition layer off the gel before you go in with your foil and the stamping design so now next we have 419 which is a deep rose colour I'm applying this to my nail and then I'm going to be going in with a stunning rose gold matte foil it is absolutely beautiful and I'm just going to cut a little bit of this off and then I'm going to be using that for this design so I'm going to go in and stick that in to the inhibition layer of that cured gel polish again to kind of create a patchy effect and there you have it really messy really patchy so I'm going to be using Moyu London stamping polish in Falcon it's a nice kind of purpley undertoned grey and I'm taking that bottom second to left image on the stamping plate picking it up on my Dixie Diamond Duo and placing it onto the nail you could leave it like that you could go in with another layer of stamping design but I decided to get some gold foil and just use the slight sticky layer from that stamping polish for it to pick up some of that foil and add another dimension and another layer of texture so there's that design all finished and all done I love this one it's probably one of my favorites out of the eight so next one we're going in with 155 and this is a paler rose nude I'm applying one layer of this to my nail and curing in the lamp for 30 seconds I'm then going to be going in with pink clay stamping polish from Moyu London I've already used this in the tutorial for another nail design and the reason why I chose this colour is because it's almost identical to that gel polish and I just wanted a really subtle design peeking through as the base design so now I'm going back in with that Moira black stamping polish for foil and pigments and just applying a different marble design over the top of this waiting for a few seconds for it to dry and then going in with a gold foil and applying that over the top of that and it only sticks to that black stamping polish make sure you've again wiped the inhibition layer off that gel polish after it's come out of the lamp because you don't want it to stick to that only the black design so next I've got 197 this is a gorgeous pale pink lavender kind of color and I'm applying one layer of that again to the nail and curing for 30 seconds going in with three stamping polishes which is purple rain from Moyu London and also Periwinkle and then lastly going in with Moyu London's Iced Lilac. They are three tones of lilac-y purple colours. Going in with two colours for the first layer of stamping design on this and these are more water marbly designs which I love how this plate has the variation of earthy marbles to more like lightning-y marbles to water marble. It's a really versatile plate. 
So going in with that first layer and I did three colours and then going in with the last layer over the top with the darkest purple and I think this created a really awesome design. I love this. It's really like multi-tonal, it's stunning. The last one we're going in with 191 and this is the really dark blue with a slight shimmer running through it, only very, very subtle. So applying one coat of this to my nail and curing in the lamp for 30 seconds. Going back in with that Moira Foil Edition stamping polish, picking up that image on my Dixie Diamond Duo and applying that down onto the nail holding for a few seconds so it all adheres properly and there you have it it looks pretty awesome like that but I really am obsessed with foil at the moment so I went in with that gold transfer foil and applied it to the nail and the way it works is it sticks to that stamping polish revealing this awesome metallic design this is definitely my favorite of the lot so there you have it that is all of the designs i've shown you step by step here are all eight next to each other so you can have a look you can create some awesome effects with this stamping plate all the images picked up perfectly i used the two different stampers and with both the images picked up so crisp and so perfectly it was fabulous to use i really really enjoyed this stamping plate i think you can create so many cool designs with this and i can't wait to have more of a play with it and use it on my clients thank you to kate dix from dixie plates for sending me this gorgeous plate it is absolutely beautiful a really awesome plate and thank you to you guys for watching if you want to see more videos like this then give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe on your way out Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!